time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Welcome, everyone, to Power Hour Live. Today is July 11th, Thursday. S&P down 44, NASDAQ down 434, Russell staying strong up 71, Dow up 39, gold up almost 2%, silver up a little over 2%, notes and bonds are green, 10-year yield dropping 2%, oil up almost 1, natty gas down 2.5, grains are all green, euro and the pound green, Bitcoin up about three quarters of a percent, VIX up 2%, Hovering above 13, 13.11. Uh, all right. So what I did today is I did a, a, a price action um, iron condor. I've closed half. I actually let, um, I did 10 lots. I let half of it go until it hit about, it hit 30, I don't know, 33, 34% pretty quickly. I closed half. Still have the other half on which is right here. It's pretty centered. That's on the 75 puts and 5,600 calls. So I'm just letting that one marinate for a little bit. Um, other trades, uh, let's see, other than transformers, had my, uh, I posted, I had my rut, my rut hedge, I closed it out. Ended up booking about $3,500 on a one lot. That's probably the biggest biggest winner I've had on that. It was uh, skewed even a little bit more to the upside. And with rut rocking today, that helped. My uh, other one that I put on this uh, today, so that was the one entered yesterday. The one that I put on today is up as well, about 800 And then with the big vol contraction at the open, did not enter any zero DTEs or one DTEs or two DTEs at the open. But after we got a, after we got that flush, I entered both a one and a two DTE, which I posted in the transformer channel. Um, so my, let's see my one DTE. So that would have been July 12th. Yeah, this one here. So I did eight contracts. I closed three and took some profits and then I transformed the rest into an upside vertical, which has got to get above 56.25 to hit max. So essentially we need to get back up to close to all time highs by close tomorrow on that one. My um, two DTE or what essentially is the Monday options. I did seven contracts on that closed. Oh no, I got stopped out on my, on my remaining three. Cause I, I transformed, I transformed four and I was, I was going to hold the other three, but they got stopped. So here's the four that I transformed also into an upside. So this has until Monday's close. Uh, it's got to get above 5675 to hit max. So got a ways to go. We're going to have to hit some new all time highs for that one to hit. We do have PPI tomorrow morning. Um, so that could that could move things a little bit potentially. Uh, other transformers. So what I have on that expires today. I'll just click all these. That one. That one. That's it. Yeah. So I liked it better where we opened up. Price was way up here. It's, Fallen back into my valley. Still no risk, but certainly not close to max profit unless we have a big move here at the end of the day. And then 
let's see the total of what I have on for tomorrow's expiration. As far as transformers go, 12, 12. Yeah, so just these two. So need to move in either direction. If PPI can oblige, that'd be nice. And then I've got a couple different things on for Monday's expiration at this point. Those two and these two. So I've got that big upside and then that I just showed you. And then I've got a couple of little free condors in either direction. So that was what I did today. How's everybody else doing today? Oh, and then rut. Got a couple things uh, that expires today. I've got this. Price started off. Where did price start off in rut? Well, yesterday closed at 2050, opened at 2080. So closed yesterday right here, opened right here. Now it's way up here. So not much of a chance of those hitting. And then for tomorrow's expiration in rut, I've got a downside vertical. So if, it, if we get back down below 2090 in rut, that one would hit. And then let's see, I don't think I have anything in NDX. Oh, I've got this. I've got this little thing that I'm working, but something we're going to talk about in our next class. Uh, I did put on a new 21 day iron duck in SPX a little bit ago. Not too far off from where I put it on. Um, yeah, I posted earlier. I, I'm, I'm passing on my down day power hour. I'm just going to do some. Um, well, I've got my I've got my price action iron condor on. It's still pretty centered. I was uh, considering adding another one when we came down a little bit, but I haven't done anything. So I'm just I'm just trading more discretionary price action instead of my three tranche down day. Yeah, all my transformers meet, I, I do in toss. Oh, I did do a uh, I did do a Rick earlier that I posted. Um So I hit, I hit a profit on that one. So let's see, it was must have been in this account. Um, where is my Rick? I did four contracts. Let's see. Paid about 13 something. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I paid 13.45 and then sold 3 of the 4 for 17.05 and then got out of my last one. So I when it hit the expected move to the downside, I got out of three of four and then when it started to bounce off of it again, I thought we were going to hold. And so I closed the last one. So I, I didn't get the full, uh, I was going to leave it on as a runner, but I just, I did not, I thought we were going to bounce off the expected move. So I cut it still a nice profit, but that runner could have been probably close to max at this point. So this is only this is down to uh got into this at 570 it's down to $2.25. Yeah, down day it is definitely a down day. 
for power hour. I just opted to skip a, because I want to keep my strikes in one in that one account from Mahomes, And then B I've got this on and it's dead centered. So I was going to add if it gets off center, but, um, so I just opted to pass on the down day, but it it's definitely a uh, definitely qualifies. You know, Tesla was having a big down. Yes, yeah, Tesla's down 7% after having a huge run up, massive down day today. Delta Airlines getting hit, minus 5%. It had earnings. Meta down 4. Netflix down almost 4. MU down almost 4. Amazon down almost three. It's bounced a little bit. Microsoft down two and a half. Google down two. Let's see what's green here. Lucid Motors. All the way up to $3.46. It's a bunch of junky stocks. On the green side, all the big boys are red. Yeah, we could see an all-time high before the day's over. Just never know. Oh, I do have a a, a one DTE trade on in, in NDX as well. It's... Uh, Pretty much at break even here. I was I put this on originally that I was going to transform it, but I'm just going to take it off if we get a little bit more of a bounce. Got to make sure I'm watching that because I do not have a stop on that one. Fact, I'm just going to put in an order. Put it in order at 40. It's trading at 43, 45. Oh, Chris is Chris is buying lunch tomorrow. Is that for everybody, Chris, or just tomorrow? Everyone. All right. You heard it here, my friends. You heard it here. See, where are we at on $3 strikes here? You've got to get about a five wide right now. Five or 10 wide. Yeah. Oh yeah, 50 points. SPX can do that in five minutes. We we set the budget, Elliot. There we go. You even confirmed. We get bottles of wine, bottles of scotch, whatever we want to.
Well, I don't know if I'll get anything else on or not. Seems only I got a buck left before it hits 80%. So as I mentioned, um, so CPI today, let's go back and look at that. So I was watching the futures pre-market. Immediately it jumped up and then gave it all back before the market even opened. The, op the market opened pretty, pretty close to where we were before the announcement and then Looked like we were going to make a new push and then just absolutely fall, fell apart. So tomorrow is PPI, also pre-market. And then 30 minutes after the market opens, we've got consumer sentiment and inflation expectations. So SPX essentially just gave back everything from yesterday. It's, a, it's right near yesterday's lows. NDX, a lot more. It gave up what it gained the last one, two, three, four days. And RUT is loving the CPI. I mean, this thing is barely dipped at all today. It just gapped up and just took off like a rocket. Not the weakest of the bunch today, Elliot. Right, trying to act like it's got something to prove. In fact, it's it's creeping up to its highest level, going all the way back to March of 22. Not too far off. Rotation into small caps. Yeah, who knows what's up with RUT. I mean, it's a made up of a lot of small community banks, so I don't know. I mean, interest rates are down 2%. Not always the logical reason for what things do. Yeah, I mean, that's the logical thing. Banks do better with higher interest rates, but who knows? It could give it all back tomorrow. My price action iron condor is sitting at two twenty five. A buck fifteen would be eighty percent. Just gonna let it go. Only taking half off.
Anybody in the three tranche down day power hour? Should be pretty close to where you got in. As far as where SPX was on the first tranche, tranche two would be coming in here in a few minutes. Up 21%, nice. Yeah, I, def I definitely don't have the confidence in old power hour like the old days. That's for sure. Question is, do I want to kill this at 80% or go for more? I needed an NDX a little bit higher. Yeah, you would have thunk that VIX would have been up more than it was today, but it got crushed after CPI. That took the... Took the gas out of it, and then even with the flush, I mean, it, it certainly bounced. It was down 2.5%. So it did spike a few percent from, from where it was after CPI, but still only just above 13 I assume the at the money butterflies are still pretty cheap. Let's see. 85. Trading for under a buck. Definitely going to be a late entry for Mahomes.
Yeah, I was looking at I was looking at TGIFs. Um, whatever, when was it? A couple of days ago. I may start dipping back into those a little bit. Obviously, they stopped performing them for a while, but also I just started getting more calendar exposure with the back tested one. So even when it was a scenario when I would consider entering, I just didn't, I haven't been just because I just didn't want any more calendar exposure on than I already had. down to a dollar fifty. Eighty percent at a dollar fifteen, dead centered. On NDX, little bounce out of you. Do you guys have any full stop outs in TLC, anybody? I would think maybe if somebody, if it started chopping right down here on that, after that first flush, you may have gotten flushed. But if you waited till after 1030, you probably did pretty good. 1030 Central. Uh, I used to trade a lot more individual stocks, Mauro. I just have not done much of it at all. And kind of, kind of going back to what I was saying before, just, you know, I get a certain amount of exposure on and, and I just don't really want to add more. So I get got plenty to do in the indices, which I I prefer for sure. Although Trade Steward sure has a, a list of stocks that you can trade with bots. So I've considered looking more into that, but just haven't done anything with it.
especially when Tesla and Amazon and some of these stocks were higher priced before they split. I used to do a lot of ducks in Amazon. Back when it was a thousand dollar stock, but it's a trade in it now. Yes, yeah, under two hundred bucks. So that's the other thing. You know, if you're doing some type of directional thing with stocks, that works well, but making it worth the risk or the buying power for certain strategies doesn't make sense with the smaller stocks. Google used to be a thousand dollar stock. Amazon, Tesla at one point. Netflix is up to six fifty. I wonder if they're going to split at some point. Meta's up to five hundred. Microsoft up to four fifty. Costco's at eight fifty. Even the mighty Costco getting hit today, down four percent. Dow was able to hold on to a little green today. It's been sitting at break even on this NDX 1DTE. I need a little bounce. Grab a quick drink. I'll be back in one minute. I saw the Mahomes got locked locked in profits pretty quick yesterday, huh? Unfortunately, I had to miss that one. Um, and and it it depends, Dark Avenger. Like today, I mean. I really was just trying to get a hundred wide, you know, if it was centered here at like 2,400 where I, when I put it on, I put my strikes a hundred wide and then I just 
and then I did my wings a hundred wide as well. Um, I, th the intent was to transform this, but as tight as these strikes are, it would have to, I would, I would need a lot more profit before I could transform it. So I ended up just leaving it on to hopefully take some profits if we can bounce a little bit. But I've, <clears throat> I look at, sometimes I, I use deltas. Sometimes I just target specific premium. Sometimes I just target, you know, a specific kind of max profit versus max risk. So I've done kind of all of, all of the above on that. I don't really have a, a set thing. I just, I wanted to put on, essentially I was putting on a, I wanted to put on a price action iron condor and, um, opted to do it in NDX because I was intent, like I said, I was intending to transform it, but changed my, changed my mind on that. Yeah. So on this one, I've got a max profit of 8,900 and a max risk of 11,000. So not too far from one to one. Close to eighty percent. Ten cents away. I'm going to leave a couple of these on. Very possible discount, still very possible. NDX is not cooperating. The uh, down day power hours should be doing well. A little sideways to down action. Eighty five butterfly trading for a buck ten ish. With thirty minutes to go.
We are sitting right at yesterday's lows in SPX. NDX blew through yesterday's lows and never looked back. All right, so I'm at 80% on my price action. So I'm going to close three of five. Leave the last, leave the last couple. No, not not really naughty dog. Nothing. It I mean it takes a lot of trades and there's and you and there's too many stopouts. Which obviously with you know the price action or TLC style scaling out, you really got to you really got to try to avoid stopouts at all costs cuz that's what kills you. Yeah, I just found good old fashioned watching price action is is much better. Yeah, I had high hopes too. I was ho you know, I'd like to I'd like to find something where you can have it be a little bit more of an automated process, but I have not found anything to this point. Come on, NDX. I need you at 2300. Yeah, DXB Rut just really liked the. Uh... CPI report for whatever reason. I mean, it's made up of a lot of small regional type banks and for whatever reason. And you can see it jumped up right at the CPI report and just has stayed higher ever since. Not always a logical reason. Oh, nice, Anil. Twenty five minutes to go.
I'm going to give NDX 15 more minutes. Elliot, you reducing stops yet on your power hours? Tron one, nice. There you go, NDX. Keep trucking. Nice Lando. Still getting a straddle for over six bucks. I am not, Lando. I opted to pass on the down day because I had, uh, well, I wanted to keep my strikes free in one account for the Mahomes trade. And in my other account, I already had a had this price action trade on, which I was still in half of at the time. And it was right dead centered. So I just opted to stick with that. I was planning on getting in, in another price action trade, but this is about the first time that it's moved off center at all. Need one more little push out of NDX to hit that. 20 minutes to go. 10 minutes till MOC. At the money fly, trading for a buck. 20-ish.
Was you, Elliot, was your tranche three stopped without a reduction? Oh, I bet it was because you probably got in right here. Yeah. And then the up move got you. About ninety percent of profit on this on my last couple contracts here. Well, NDX, you were so close. You had to go back down. I got into NDX at 44.85. So I can get out at 43. Scratch out a little something if we get a little bounce. Ninety butterfly trading for dollar twenty still. Thought I just saw a dollar forty a minute ago. It's kind of bouncing up, but yeah, about a buck twenty.
MOC in three minutes. Looks like another TH lottery for your for your sheet, Ken. Thursday, I believe. Get shorter and shorter and shorter. All right, a minute before MOC, I'm going to go ahead and get out of my NDX here. It's trying to get up there. Yeah, DRB, the last five minutes, if I'm doing my three tranches, I'm kind of discretionary in the last five minutes. Sometimes I'll hold it to the bell, sometimes close it out in the last five minutes. One of my NDX hit 45. All right. Now my last SPX, do I want to, my last two, do I want to hold that? I have to make bigger than a 10 point move. I'll just try to pin those. Remove profit target. Two twenty five million to the buy side. Go ahead and put in my butterflies on a couple of strikes, even though we're not really very close. I'm going to be a late entry from Mahomes today.
Butterflies are staying cheap. Oh yeah, Iron Dog. It's a uh takes practice, it takes mental mental practice for sure. We used to do it all the time, but Yeah, the plank, that's where the plank comes from. Exactly. Now we have Mahomes for the plank. Ninety butterfly trading for dollar seventy, dollar eighty. Sometimes I feel like you need to plank before you get locked in. Once you get your filled on your fly, you got to plank until you till your vertical fills. How wide are you? Are you five wide, Lando? Ten wide? Between the shorts? And I got to get my 85 back on. I took it off. Come on, 90. We only got four and a half minutes left. This one is still, my price action is dead centered. So that one should be good. It's worth 10 cents. Filled on the 90s. Two bucks.
Now, three minutes, need to move away from 90. Need a move away from 90. Come on down to 85. The water's warm. Two minutes. Eighty seven would be a scratch. Below eighty seven would be profitable. Eighty five would be better. Uh, creeping back up towards 90, less than a minute to go. Thirty seconds. Last minute flush, gonna need it. Come on down, baby. Come on down. It's in the 85 handle. My vertical should be filling. It did not fill. Oh. 17 of my 20 filled. Would have been better if they didn't, to be honest. So. I ended up making 2,300. Normally on a 20 lot, it'd be 2,000 if my verticals filled, but a few of them didn't, and it ended up marking down below 85. Nice. Very, very nice. Good way to end the day. All right, all tomorrow. Let's see. So it's tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. So Chad is scheduled to stream at the open, but he is going to be at the Suns baseball tournament. So I will be running the Mighty 90 and Runner live stream at the open. And then I'll be back for power hour. Chad will be out for power hour tomorrow as well. So just me on the live streams tomorrow, my friends. Look forward to it. Everybody have a good night. Take care.